bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with a light from above, from the mountains to the prairies. To the oceans, wide with home. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America. North Alabama is full of adventure. If you love food, we've got it. If you love festivals, we've got them. If you love the outdoors, we've got plenty of places to explore. Whatever you love, we're sure to have something for you. For all things North Alabama, check out northalabama.org. Don't just throw a tailgate. Own the tailgate with a Bojangles Big Bow Box. Because only Bojangles puts tailgate-ready fresh, never-frozen, honey barbecue or buffalo bone-in wings with fall-off-the-bone juiciness right in the pocket. The only way to make these wings any better? With some made-from-scratch buttery biscuits, flavorful fixins, and freshly steeped legendary iced tea. So let the quarterback do the throwing, you do the winning. Because how can you expect to win the game if you don't win the tailgate? Bojangles, it's bow time. With a house surrounded by pine trees planted in 1961, April and I knew it was time to do something about it. So we called James Paul. With over 25 years in the business, James Paul Tree Service offers their knowledge and experience along with honesty and dependability, which gives you peace of mind when it comes to tree removal, tree cleanup, and clearing. Give James Paul a call at 256-777-0711. Before they fall, give James Paul a call. Boutique Air in Muscle Shoals, Alabama offers direct flights to Atlanta and Pensacola. Boutique Air Service runs twice daily, seven days a week, with fares starting at $59. Follow Boutique Air Muscle Shoals on Facebook at Boutique Air MSL and book your flight through BoutiqueAir.com. Boutique Air. Where you can fly private for the cost of commercial. Hey everybody, this is Daryl Worley, and you're listening to The Mark White Show. Hey, step up and make a difference like he does. Hey y'all, this is Jeff Foxworthy, and you, yeah, you, can make a huge difference in somebody's life. You just may not have figured out how yet, and that's why you're listening to The Mark White Show. Hi, this is Maggie Peterson. I played Charlene Darling on The Andy Griffith Show, and you are listening to The Mark White Show. Hi folks, this is Ricky Skaggs, and you're listening to The Mark White Show. Hello, I'm Gene Stallings, and this is The Mark White Show. Get off the sideline and get involved and make a difference in your community. You are listening to The Mark White Show. My daddy is your host, Mark White. said some things we don't really mean Sometimes love can be like that And right now they hurt But they're only words They're nothing we can't take back But every time we don't see eye to eye You worry I might say goodbye not on your love, not in this life Could I ever leave, I wouldn't think twice Of letting you go, by now you should know I need you too much Welcome to another edition of the Mark White Show. I'm glad that you can be with us today as I have my friend Jeff Carson on the line with me. 
You've heard him on the Mark White Show before. He's singer Jeff Carson, but he's also police officer Jeff Carson. He came out with a song, God Save the World. And we talked about that the last time that Jeff was on the show. He's going to be at Homestead Hall, which is owned by Rory Feek, on January 29th. And there's some other things we want to talk about, including an officer that's battling COVID that we want to try to help. Welcome to the Mark White Show, Jeff Carson. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate it, man. Good to talk with you again. Hey, always great to talk to you, Jeff. And I appreciate you coming on the show. And, you know, the Mark White Show has grown a lot since the last time you joined us, and it seems to grow every month. So, just give people a background, a little bit about yourself for those who may not know who you are, Jeff. Well, I was born in Tulsa. <laughs> I've been, you know, I moved <laughs> to Nashville um, probably 89, kind of just fell into playing music uh, for a living uh, for the first seven years. Uh, it took about seven years to get a record deal. So about in 1994, I was signed to Curb Records and had my first album out in 95. Uh, very blessed with with the number one called Not On Your Love. Uh, that follow-up to that was a song I, I won a Video of the Year award at the ACM in 96 for a song called The Car. Just uh, at, after those two big hits, kind of just some hit-and-miss hits, and, uh, but, but uh, having a great time at it the whole time. I sure had some great memories. Did you mention that your wife was the one who told you to move to Nashville when you were in Branson, Missouri? Did you say that? Did I miss that? <laughs> I, I did not, but that is the truth, man. <laughs> what, what a memory you have. Yeah, if it wasn't for Kim, I, I wouldn't have moved here to begin with. It, it, it was funny how we just kind of, uh, she pushed me to do it, and we did. We moved here not knowing a soul, and uh, uh, it was, I don't remember if I told you this story last time we talked, but uh, she knew a friend of hers who went to school, high school with her in Texas was living up here in the Nashville area. So she called her to say hi and tell her that we were living up here too. And just so happened that this girl and her husband were playing out at the Opryland hotel as a duo on a regular basis. And they just start looking to hire a third person to make a trio, a bass player that, well, I stepped right into that because I'd, I'd been playing bass in a group in Branson and in Northwest Arkansas. So stepped right in. And so started working just, you know, there's not, I feel very blessed because there's a lot of people who have a lot of talent, can play and sing, and they, you know, they can't get that full time, steady, paying music gig that you can, you know, quote unquote, make a living at. So I, I was very blessed to to do that, and and um, that led to me putting my own little trio together, and then I started singing demos for songwriters, and that led to my voice getting all over Nashville, and which ultimately led to that record deal. Well, and as you know, I was a former police officer myself, and I mm-hmm. was torn between being a singer and being a police officer. As a matter of fact, I got in trouble for singing the national anthem in my uniform one time, <laughs> but I won $50. But the thing about it is, is that <laughs> I was taking the route of hoping that I could be a singer, and then at 21, went to police academy and became a police officer. And then you, of course, took the singing route and then became a police officer. Was it kind of something as a younger person that you wanted to do, thinking, okay, I'd like to be in the music business, but I would also like to be a police officer? Was that the way it worked? Well, it, it started off, I remember the third grade, a teacher went around the room asking everybody what they wanted to be when they grew up. And I, of course, I, I said I want to be a police officer. I didn't know how to play any music or anything. I may have been able to blow on a harmonica or something back then, but uh, but I remember saying I want to be a police officer. But uh, it was um, it was in high school. I started playing around, tinkering with bass guitar, and then I picked up my mom's guitar and started learning some chords, probably junior high. And by high school, you know, I was playing and singing uh, good enough to, you know, have fun at it. Um, but it, it was always, music was always my first love. And, and believe me, if I still could be playing music full time, I, I would do that. I'm not, not dissing being a police officer, just music's my first love. I can understand that, and I know that you're doing what you can as a police officer there in Franklin, Tennessee, and the very fact that Kim told you, hey, let's go to Nashville, of course, led to the music career that you had, but also led to your law enforcement career in the state of Tennessee. Yeah, it's funny that the the, uh, the city I'm working for, Franklin, uh, back when I was really rolling well, uh, remember Country Weekly magazine uh, was really thriving and uh so we we did and they they heard about me because by then i'd been traveling and touring and uh i had a good 
police patch collection. Everywhere I go, my bus driver would, you know, hit up the local police department, try to get me this <laughs> patch or even badges sometimes. So I had a good collection and, and Country Weekly did a shoot on me on that. And, uh, they, they learned of my, you know, admiration for law enforcement. And, uh, so we did what was called cop for a day photo shoot. So we went to where I work now, actually, it's in Franklin, Tennessee. This is like 95. And, uh, you know, I got to sit in on a roll call and, and went out to the shooting range and shot. And I got to wear a uniform and gun belt and everything. I thought that was the neatest thing. And many moons after working for him. Well, it is interesting how our life does work out in that way. You're a little bit older than I am. So in 95, I was still in high school. And I was listening to your music, buddy. And I appreciated what you were putting out. And, of course, you've been singing as well. You've continued your music career, as you mentioned. It may not be full-time in the way it used to be, but you're still out there. You're still doing concerts. And one of the concerts that we're going to talk about when we come back after a quick break is at Rory Feek's place in Columbia, Tennessee. And I know people are looking forward to January 29th, and we'll talk about that in just a minute, okay? Yeah, absolutely. I'm looking forward to that, too. Folks, Jeff Carson's on the line with me right now. I hope you'll stick with us. You are listening to The Mark White Show. And I'm your host, Mark White. Starting with me. Don't just throw a tailgate. Own the tailgate with a Bojangles Big Bow Box. Because only Bojangles puts tailgate-ready fresh, never-frozen, honey barbecue or buffalo bone-in wings with fall-off-the-bone juiciness right in the pocket. The only way to make these wings any better? With some made-from-scratch buttery biscuits, flavorful fixins, and freshly steeped legendary iced tea. So let the quarterback do the throwing. You do the winning. Because how can you expect to win the game if you don't win the tailgate? Bojangles, it's bow time. North Alabama is full of adventure. If you love food, we've got it. If you love festivals, we've got them. If you love the outdoors, we've got plenty of places to explore. Whatever you love, we're sure to have something for you. For all things North Alabama, check out northalabama.org. Experience the difference at Athens Bible School. The vision and purpose is to provide each student a quality education in a Christ-centered environment to develop the whole person spiritually, mentally, physically, and socially in safe and supportive surroundings. The Saul Biblical Foundation permeates learning and culture in the classrooms and every extracurricular activity. With over 25 years in the business, James Paul Tree Service offers their knowledge and experience along with honesty and dependability, which gives you peace of mind when it comes to tree removal, tree cleanup, and clearing. Give James Paul a call at 256-777-0711. Before they fall, give James Paul a call. Mr. Cecil Batchelor is the one that started this business as Dependable Service Center. And even though now it's Green's Dependable Hardware and we're a true value store, our tagline is still your Dependable Service Center. We've tried to keep that alive for all these years. Mr. Batchelor really started a good business. We're really excited to be carrying on a long-standing tradition. It's the oldest retail store in the city of Russell. We're Green's Dependable Hardware, 15220A, Highway 43 in Russellville. Alabama. We're right behind McDonald's or right across the street from the hospital. Number is 256-331-0123. The Dependable Service Center. Hi, I'm Crystal Gale, and you're listening to The Mark White Show. And one smile can make a difference. na 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 Someone loves you, I do I was young, he was old And we both were the same age Every day Playing fetch Shaking hands He'd lick my face And I was unaware 
the day you would come And when he died For the first time I knew What real pain was And I never Welcome back to the Mark White Show. I'm glad that you can be with us as I have my friend Jeff Carson on the line with me. You know him as music artist Jeff Carson, and some of you actually may know him as Officer Jeff Carson, depending on if you get in trouble a lot. (laughs) You know, it's funny because now with the Mark White Show, I do have people that I had contact with when I was a police officer, and sometimes I did those traffic stops, and they would say, you know, you stopped me way back then. What I really like is the fact that people will say that I treated them well or that they appreciate the respect that I had for them, and I appreciate those people letting me know that because you sometimes wonder out there, you do the best you can as a professional, you do the best you can as a law enforcement officer, and sometimes you're having to wear that guarded position because you don't know who you're dealing with, but after the fact, years later, people remember how you treated them. Yeah, I, 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 if I had a nickel every time I uh, said this to people that I was dealing with, you know, who were got in trouble for whatever reason, you know, and they and, and many times, you know, they'll it'll be a comment saying, "Hey, you know, appreciate you, you know, not being, you know, someone who's uh, aggressive or just mean, you know." And I and I tell those people, "Hey, we, I, I treat people just how I'm treated. If you treat me nice, I'm just nice." as you are you know so that's that's the way i've always felt you know one of the things that i think through the song god save the world is definitely a connection with your law enforcement career seeing what's happening around the world and kind of putting it all together to say we need our faith we need god during this time yeah absolutely you know and that that song really lent itself you know i I hadn't had a single out in 20 years um I got with this independent record label and they said, how about this song? It was, it was out on an earlier album on Curb, but it wasn't out as a single, just a, uh, just an album cut with Lisa Brokop singing with me on it. So we recut that and put it out as a single, like you mentioned, and uh, it made it to number 35 on the music road chart. And so that's the first charting song I've had. That was, well, the first song that released as a single in 20 years is a 20 years to the year. So, Needless to say, I was very excited, and, and it opened up some doors, and uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I haven't told a so yet, but the 13th of this month, which is just in a week or so, I'm going in and recutting all, it's going to be called The Hits, I'm, I'm going in and recutting all the songs of The Car, Not On Your Love, Holding On To Something, A Real Life, all those, recutting all of them, and I've got four uh, artists joining me on some of those bigger hits too so i'm really excited about that i haven't told anybody about that yet wow you just shared an exclusive with the mark white show (laughs) i don't have exclusives jeff and i just got one man one under my belt that's (laughs) awesome there you go (laughs) (laughs) that's great man well i'm happy for you being able to do that and here on the mark white show we try to recognize difference makers and we try to help people where we can we talked about one particular family in five points that i'm trying to help van for schuyler and trying to help them with a wheelchair accessible van we have an officer up there where you are He's known by Finn, and he's fighting COVID-19, and I know there's a fundraiser for him, and we want to try to help during this show because it's not just about having fun and shooting the breeze here on the Mark White Show. It's about trying to make a difference, and I know that you want to try to help this family as well. I do, Mark. Yeah, Sean Finn, he's, he's, he's an officer that I, I work with one day a week. Our, our week days that we work overlap and Saturdays and I hadn't seen him for a few Saturdays and, and learned a couple of weeks ago that he had COVID. I had COVID during the same time. I've already, uh, it's, it's still strange to me how some people like myself just have a couple of bad days and, you know, I'm 100% now. And then someone who's 15 years or more younger than me uh, is struggling to the point that he is. He's, uh, you know, without releasing too much what might can be considered personal uh information uh it, it his family really needs his help um everyone's help he he worked of course full-time as police department and uh he worked two extra full-time jobs just providing for his wife and his two little girls and uh they they really would appreciate anything anyone could do 
Yes, and we want to make sure that we thank Kelsey Robertson for organizing this GoFundMe. It takes very special people to do that kind of yeah. work, to organize a fundraiser and for it to be a success. And they can go to GoFundMe.com and they can search Help for the Fins Fighting COVID-19. And Fins is spelled F-I-N-N apostrophe S. That's Help for the Fins Fighting COVID-19. And we do want to continue to pray for that family, pray for that officer. Absolutely. We want to help however we can through the Mark White Show, obviously. So I'll share that link on my Facebook page as well. Thank you, Mark. I really appreciate that. That, that I've been praying hard for him. Absolutely. Well, and we have a concert coming up January the 29th at Roy Feek's Place, Homestead Hall. I know you're probably excited about that, too. No, that's an understatement, man. And, you know, I, was, I heard of his place out there, uh, the Homestead Hall. Uh, but I, I never had looked online and seen it. I've been looking at some videos on uh, YouTube and everything. That is the coolest looking place I've ever seen. <laughs> it looks like a big red barn and, and it's got great sound and, and a stage and, and uh, it's just real intimate. I think the, the whole place only holds probably less than 300 people, but it's just real intimate and just uh, it's just going to be me and my acoustic guitar and I love that kind of stuff. So I'm really looking forward to that. And of course, meeting Rory. I've never met Rory. We were able to go last month, and my daughter was really impressed with the schoolhouse that Rory has built for his daughter. Yeah. She wanted to get her picture in front of that schoolhouse, and really, it's a nice, beautiful place that Rory has, and I appreciate the fact that he's opened it up for, for guys like yourself to be able to go and put on a concert in this way. Me too. You know, and you know, most of the successes I've had are, are those good sentimental ballads, and it looks like this is the kind of place that, uh, like I said, is intimate and where people really, you know, you don't have a bar with a bunch of drunks fighting in the back. You know, people are listening to the lyrics. That's the most important thing on a, on a good ballad. So I, I, I love those kind of settings. And thanks to Homestead Hall, they're giving a couple of tickets away to the Mark White Show to give to a lucky listener. Jeff, it's always a pleasure to have you here on the Mark White Show, and I'm looking forward to the concert. If you want to go to this concert to hear Jeff Carson on January 29th at Homestead Hall, go to RoryFeek.com. You can go to the store, and then you'll find a way to get the tickets. They're $30, and right now you can add them to your cart and get to hear singer-musician Jeff Carson, police officer Jeff Carson, and it's going to be a great concert, and I'm looking forward to you being able to do that. And again, we thank Homestead Hall for providing tickets to a lucky listener. So, Jeff, it's always great to have you here on the Mark White Show, buddy. Thank you, Martin. Good to talk to you again, my friend. All right. You take care of yourself. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. Here on the Mark White Show, we're recognizing difference makers like Jeff Carson, the Finn family, and we're also trying to make a difference in our communities. I hope that this shows encouragement to you and that you'll share it with your family, your friends, and your neighbors. Let them know about the Mark White Show and what we're doing to make a difference. Please follow the Mark White Show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and subscribe to the Mark White Show podcast via Apple iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Audio Boom, SoundCloud, Blueberry, YouTube, and TuneIn Radio. You have been listening to another edition of The Mark White Show, and this is Mark White encouraging you to find your purpose by making a difference in someone's life today. And when it was over, you looked up. I laid our baby across your breast. And I never was the same. That moment on, real life began. Located in Tuscumbia, Alabama, the Alabama Music Hall of Fame honors Alabama's music achievers. You can even go into the recording studio and try out your talents as a singer. That's the Alabama Music Hall of Fame located at 617 Highway 72 West in Tuscumbia, Alabama. Open Tuesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Give them a call at 256-381-4417. Check them out on the web at alamhof.org. Boutique Air in Muscle Shoals, Alabama offers direct flights to Atlanta and Pensacola. Boutique Air service runs twice daily, seven days a week, with fares starting at $59. Follow Boutique Air Muscle Shoals on Facebook at Boutique Air MSL and book your flight through BoutiqueAir.com. Boutique Air. Where you can fly private for the cost of commercial.
Is it time for a haircut? Give my friend Philip Butler at Southwind Barbershop a call. Located in Rogersville, Alabama. You can call him at 256-247-5658. Make an appointment or just walk in. That's Southwind Barbershop in Rogersville, Alabama. Thompson Roofing and Construction is a locally owned family business serving the North Alabama and Southern Tennessee area. They are a Better Business Bureau a member since 2011 and a GAF Master Elite Contractor. Give them a call at 256-952-3309 or check them out on the web at 256roofing.com. They offer free inspections. Thompson Roofing and Construction. You hear me, people, when I say, well, let's all do something good today. 